Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November, 2021. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. Massive moves are happening in the sky now. And it is going to be this month that we've got a super new moon. We've got a lunar eclipse. And of course we have Venus going into shadow. So there's so much to talk about here. It is going to be on the fourth of the month that we will have this month's new moon. This is a powerful super new moon and it is standing across the sky from Uranus. This is a surprise a minute, if not a shock a minute, I have to say. And it is this energy that is playing out in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the mind and communication and conversation. In fact, it may very well be at this time that there are developments related to a sibling, cousin or neighbor that may have you feeling like you have to scramble in some way. And synchronicity is going to be so high now that you just going about your business, doing your things, uh, may find yourself in a certain place at a certain time, meeting a certain person, and it really can make all the difference. The thing with this type of alignment that this new moon is making with Uranus, well, it really could go either way. It could be that the interaction is a shock and it takes you aback and it takes you a moment to find your balance, but it could also be supremely fortunate as well, but may still require that you find your balance. The thing is, it's a good idea to stay open because this energy is powerful and it could go in a fortunate direction. Even if it represents discomfort at first, ultimately it can open you up to more, whether that is more happiness, more potential, more possibility, or even more success. This part of the sky having to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, yes, these people may have things taking place in their life, decisions that they're making that feel like it takes you very much by surprise, or it could be developments as well. Again, either you're very happy for them, or you may not be, and yet, you are asked to figure out what your place is within these changes taking place now. And of course, you will find the right balance for you. Now, as we navigate later in the month, it is going to be on the 19th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. But this is no ordinary full moon. This is a jacked up full moon, which means it is a lunar eclipse. Now, get ready because this lunar eclipse happens in fellow Earth sign Taurus. It is a worldly part of your sky. And this is the first of a series of eclipses that are set to take place here. You're gonna have another one in 2022, another one in 2023. So you've got lots to look forward to here. Uh, you should get comfortable with this energy because it'll be around for a bit. And it is over the course of this period of time that your worldview is going to expand in some way. Your understanding of your place in the world is going to change in some way as well. And so with this lunar eclipse, it is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto. So there is some power move here aligning you with a higher vision. Now, whether this is a chance to step onto a larger stage in some way to be known by more people around the world than you have before, that's one way this energy can be realized. But eclipses like to do things by surprise. It's just that this time with that supremely harmonious connection to Pluto, chances are you like the surprise and that it changes you deeply. If you get the chance to travel, uh, that can be part of what feels like a very faded occurrence for you now. But all matters having to do with immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, um, can just open up to you in some way or feel like they transform for you in a positive way. And this part of the sky having to do with the spiritual beliefs and philosophies that guide your life. Well, don't be surprised if you find yourself now on a quest of some kind or exposed to a new world view, a new spiritual view that feels like it resonates very deeply, that helps you to make a positive difference in your life now. 
The other big news this month and where it comes to matters of love, Venus now on the fifth of the month will enter the sign of Capricorn, fellow Earth sign Capricorn. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with matters of heart. It has to do with what you love in every area of life. And so the fact that Venus is going to be here for an unusually long time, right into March, this is huge. Normally Venus spends about four weeks per sign per year, but of course it is going to be the 17th of this month that Venus will enter shadow, the 19th of next month go retrograde, and Venus, while going backwards, will return to where she is in the middle of this month, towards the end of January and beginning of February. So it becomes very important to pay attention to what is happening in your life and in your romantic life right around the middle of this month because you may see it differently once you navigate further. Now there will be a separate Venus retrograde special horoscope so be on the lookout for that. I think that this is massive. This is going to be one of the most important celestial events to take place for 2021 and is actually going to take us into 2022 as well. So I'm going to have a lot to say about that but I wanted to mention it for you now because it really is that important that you start paying attention right away. What do you really want in your heart of hearts including in love? If you're open to meeting someone new there may very well be a powerful flirtation that does take place with somebody. You certainly will be feeling flirty and open to flirtation that much more. Uh, but once Venus goes into shadow on the 17th, it is that much more important for you in your sign to be paying attention to what is transpiring for you, whether it's a new person, whether it's new feelings, whether it's new ideas related to love, there is going to be something that awakens for you that you may see differently once we navigate into the new year. For those of you just starting to date somebody, it is a powerful time. Now, the thing to remember is, and I know we're not in Venus retrograde yet, but especially once we get into Venus retrograde shadow, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. And that energy is gonna be with you <laughs> once we get past the middle of this month. And that's okay. Ultimately, this is a time of examining more deeply how you really feel about this person and if there is love here or not learning to be more honest about whether or not there is love here. So get comfortable, get ready for a ride because you'll be delving into that question with this person that much more deeply. Now, the other possible scenario is someone new presents themselves to you this month and they will be the one that you will be on this journey of understanding love more deeply and heart oriented love more deeply with as we navigate in the months ahead. And for those of you in an established bond, this is the energy of heart related connection with this person and how much connected you continue to feel on that heart level, where that connection is strong. You will find new depths of understanding once Venus moves into this part of the sky, but where that connection is not necessarily or hasn't lately felt as strong, this can be either a rekindling or a depth of understanding as to what has been taking place, what you desire to take place, Again, breakups that happen with Venus retrograde season, which starts the 17th of this month, tend to not stay broken up, but it is always up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. And you will be considering that this month as you strive to fortify and reconnect on that romantic heart level with this person that you love. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here, my goodness, what a powerful time, but it's only the beginning. It is going to be the 17th that Venus goes into shadow in fellow Earth sign Capricorn. And then on the 19th, we've got that lunar eclipse in fellow Earth sign Taurus. Well, it tells me that you will be very much in your element. A lot is changing for you now, an awakening on a level of heart, but also an awakening of perspective. Your world is opening up in some way, becoming bigger in some way. But this is also a spirit of adventure and enthusiasm that's going to call you that will make this time that much more rewarding. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every single week for every single sign for as low as just $3 a month. 
With Choose Your Membership Rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com, as a superstar, you'll get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, and higher tiers get you things like access to special horoscopes, class passes for future Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.